I'll be zip zooming all over the place and stuff. Hey Power Director Peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love, you know, the Power Director love you're looking for from Power Director University. Today I'm going to be doing a fast motion speed ramping effect in Power Director 15 Ultimate. So let's jump off into the software and make it happen. All right, Power Director peeps, here we are in Power Director 15 Ultimate. Before I get started, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to Power Director University to get great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. Let's get down with some fast motion. Now, to give you the best idea of how to utilize fast motion, I'm actually gonna be doing speed ramping during this tutorial. So it's best to mix slow motion and fast motion when you're doing speed ramping because it amplifies the effect when you're switching between slow motion and fast motion. I have my clips down in the timeline. I have music on AV track two and I have a video clip with sound and that sound is muted on AV track one. Now I'm using a 60 frames per second clip and my project is set to 24 frames per second so that when I add slow motion, it's gonna look smooth. I'm gonna start off with this clip at regular speed and then I'm gonna slow it down. Now I wanna slow it down when the beat of the music drops. So you can see the waveform of the music here so you can get an idea of where the beat of the music drops. And let's say here is probably a good spot. I can see right here that there's some amplified sound. Yeah, that's good. So right here, I'm going to split this clip. So this first part is playing in regular speed. And this part, I want to slow it down. So I'm going to go to tools. Power tools. I'm going to check the box next to video speed. And then I'm going to click on speed adjustment. I'm going to go down here to speed multiplier. And I'm going to change this to 0 0.4, which is 40%. And I'm going to hit enter. Now, if you want to know why I'm slowing this clip down to 40%, then you need to watch my slow motion tutorial to get an idea of what percentage you need to pick to slow down your clips. I'm not going to get into all of that for this tutorial because I touched on it on my slow motion tutorial. So now that I've made this clip slow, I'm going to click on OK. And the next thing I want this clip to do is to go from slow speed to fast speed. So we're gonna create a point where we want it to go to fast motion. So once again, I want it to speed up during the beat of the music. So whenever that beat drops, we'll make it speed up again. So let's go to a point on here. So I can tell the beat right here looks like nah. that's good nah. and also another good thing about this is it looks like there was some motion as you can see and around this point that motion stopped if you can mix up like a change in the action with the beat dropping that'll be great and that's what i'm able to do here so at this point I'm going to go ahead and split this clip again. I'm going to left click on it to select it and I'm going to click on split the selected clip. And so now I want this clip on the right hand side to be fast because this one's slow. So remember this is regular speed. This one's slow. And now we created another split here. We want this one to be fast. So I'm going to go to tools, power tools again video speed and this time I'm gonna when I go to speed adjustment 
I'm going to speed this up by going higher than one because one is regular speed. So I'm going to go to two to make it twice of what the regular speed is. So basically it's 200%. So I'm going to click on OK. And now we see that this clip is going to be fast. And so I want to go ahead and transition from fast speed or fast motion back to slow motion. So going to go ahead and move my playhead somewhere here once again, where I think the good spot to slow things down again. And this is like, this is a, a beat here. I'm going to, Okay, so this is like one of the down beats or off beats, but that's okay. It's still a beat and I can use that to go ahead and slow things down. So once again, I'm going to left click on this. I'm going to split. I'm not going to go through this all slow because you know the routine already. I'm going to go to speed adjustment here. And right now it's set to two because that was what I did last. So now I'm going to do it once again to 0 0.4. So it's 40% of the regular speed and I'm going to click on OK. And so now that is slow. I want to make my music match that. So I'm just going to click on the music, put my cursor at the end until I see two arrows and I'm in trim mode. Hold down my left mouse, and drag this out so that the music matches the length of the video. And that's it, people. Now we have a clip that does speed ramping from normal speed to slow motion to fast motion to slow motion again. So let's go ahead and go back to the beginning and we'll take a look at how this turned out. All right, Power Director Peeps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, I want to send a shout out to one of our subscribers, Quilting with Gene. Quilting with Gene makes YouTube videos on quilting. So, if you're into quilting, you want to get your quilt on or whatever, head on over to her channel, check out a couple of her videos, and if you're feeling what she's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you want to get a shout out like Quilty with Jean did, make sure that you go to the video description and fill out the shout out request form. If you have a tutorial that you'd like us to make, go to the video description and fill out our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction. Make sure you click on it because when you do, it lets other people know that the content in this video is good. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk, chop it up with your boy, make sure you leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash the subscribe button. And after you do that, make sure that you click on the bell. Because when you do that, you get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. And that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.